Get ready for 20 minutes of numbering action as the lights go out and we also leave the starting grid there. Patrick in the lead. And behind them they are going 3 wide. Very wide 3 wide. Jeff on the inside. And Peter is getting away there in the P2. Anthony behind, unfortunately, spawns. This is replay there. He's nowadays racing VR, and that's unfortunate of a start there. Jeff is fighting for third there. Get a look on the outside. And Andre, unfortunately, busted at the Mercedes section. <coughs> Or rather, match the Serena, I think that's what it's called. Looks like my overlay is acting up again. Let me quickly fix that. It's been weird like that. Oh, I closed it. Good job! Yeah. Alright, Anthony gets a drive to penalty not drive to a uh, slow down penalty oh and peter lost it is now down to fourth nick is up into second patrick is in the lead it looks like peter is about to lose another place here he's going side by side into the chicken and this is the fast chicken uh, side by side with Jared, and he's gonna lose even more here. This is not how you want your first lap to go. He's now down into eighth place. In fact, the car that's going side by side with him now is Anthony, and Anthony goes up on the inside there. Oh, bit of a late, late line change. Uh, looks like he locked up, kinda. Checking on the leaders here. Patrick first, Nick second, Jeff third, Anthony in fourth place. So we have the first three together here. No dives into the hairpin. And we also have these three cars here. Anthony in the middle. And Scott and Peter surrounding him. It's almost like a protective convoy. <laughs> Oh, bit of a look on the inside there from Peter. Anthony had to react to it. Let's go on board with Anthony. Oh, and he lost that kind of on the exit. There goes Peter up on the inside. Anthony just manages to not touch the the grass there on the exit. You can see he was looking at Peter to make sure the two of them don't collide. But this fight is far from over. Same could be said about what's happening ahead. As Jared is getting now close to Anthony Fox. Oh, and Anthony lost it. Hobbs, he lost it. Unfortunately, he is now down to less. He 
interesting to mention is that not many people opted out for the soft tires. Patrick in the lead is on the mediums. Meanwhile, <laughs> Nick and <laughs> he went straight up in the gravel then. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nick and Jeff are on the soft tires behind him, and then after them, pretty much everyone is on the mediums except for Stu and Andre, who are in eighth and ninth. I have engine, aero, and suspension damage. Lovely. Yeah, oh, it's only a matter of time before I do as well. Pushing way beyond my limit. Mm. I always screw up on the S bends. Oh, Andre is in attack mode. Heading into the chicken. Oh, and he put enough pressure on. And Stu. Either that or Stu is checking his mirror way too much. Oh, I can't give a. And he goes into the pit lane. I can't give on Andre and uh, Stuart a push, but Stuart should have gone into the pits. Now we have a four car traffic here. This is better for Ford. It's fitting that we have four cars <laughs> battling for Ford. So Jay oh, just I wonder if he had a visitor because he wasn't on comms even. Oh, right. Looks like Anthony got a good run out of the camp in there. But it also looks like that and Peter did not want him to take the opportunity there. Peter is trying his hardest to scare Jared. In oh, my Jared. Cars not like in handling. Jared is having a look for Scott as well. That said, who's really having a look? On the others is Jeff here. Jeff and Nick. The gap between them was <clears throat> barely two tenths. And now they are going side by side on the start finish straight. Jeff on the outside, Nick on the inside. Will Jeff be able to please Crofty here? No, no switcheroo. And the train behind them is still going. Yeah, normally I can deal with engine and air and transmission damage, but it's the suspension damage which screws you up. Yeah. Oh, Jeff pushed it too much. He went off. Gap is now increasing. At least a second, or a second and a half between the two of them now. I'm beginning to think the soft was a bad choice. <laughs> oh, see, I yeah, thought you would I use them as the second race. Hmm? I thought you would have used them in the second race. Uh, I just thought I'd try them in this one, and if it didn't work, I'd go back to mediums for the second race. Just like Anthony is yeah, just written. So they're not completely dead, but I've still got 10 minutes to go. How many hearts? Yeah. Yeah, out of the four cars here, the first three seems to be very close, and Anthony looks to be dropping from them a bit. That said, the first two are going a bit off, and Jared sees the opportunity and goes for it on the inside. Scott drops down. 
And indeed Scott is now going side by side with Peter there on the straight. Here we see Anthony's perspective if he's just behind them. So which one will stay ahead of the other? Side by side into first turn and Anthony follows the car on the inside. Peter is ahead. Scott is now going side by side with Anthony. And Scott bails out. Uh, Scott stays ahead and Anthony bails out of it. That's it. Bit of a slider on the entry or exit. Hard to tell, it's the Mercedes Serena. It's whatever. Doing faster and faster laps, but Patrick's doing even faster and faster laps. <laughs> Jeff is once again back on the rear of Nick. Didn't take long for him whatsoever to catch up. Look at it. <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, it's close. It's very close. Look on the inside and just enough space. Let Jeff go because he's obviously faster than me. Oh, Nick, Nick is letting Jeff by. Meanwhile, behind them, Anton is having a look on the inside but cannot get the place from Scott. I highly doubt though that Nick would give up on the place just like that. But maybe he's trying to save the tires. Because remember, out of the first three. Oh, leader is on the mediums. Second and third place are still on softs. Seven, seven minutes left from the race. Let's say the gap between Patrick and Jeff is not that big. So the gap currently between P1 and P2 is 2 seconds. And now the 4 car train that we had a few laps ago is now turning into a two separate two car battle. And while Andre in 8th place is quite far behind from the rest of the field. Alright, let's see. Anthony, will you go for it? Gap is about 2 10, so it's gonna be even less on the straight here. He's trying a look on the outside. Switches around. <laughs> It was way before the braking zone though. Has a look on the inside. They are going side by side. And for a moment Anthony is ahead but he's going wide on the exit. They're still side by side and he drops back into 7th. Scott stays ahead. And just like going to Ferro, uh, Anthony. Oh, never mind, that's Hobbs behind. Hobbs behind in ninth place. 
If it's technically now last because Stu left the race. A bit wide there on the Kumahara assets. Or she can. Uh, let's see if Peter can get fourth place here. Hard to follow people. Oh, Jared went a bit sideways into the turn there, or rather out of the turn. So that might help Scott there. Sorry, Peter. Peter has a look on the outside. Scott is closing on the braking. And Anthony goes wide behind them. So it's almost like a chain reaction. Everyone's trying to decide when to go for it. Or rather questioning when to go for it based on what's happening ahead and everyone comes to a different conclusion for the time being Scott is still behind Peter and Peter is now looking for the outside there on Jared, who seems to be a bit slow now. And the four car train is back on the rails again. In the meantime, Nick was right about Jeff, he's a lot faster because the gap between Nick and Jeff is now almost five seconds. Meanwhile, Jeff closed down to Patrick, and the gap is less than a second now. It's about seven tenths. But even smaller than that is the gap between these three cars here in the middle. Oh, here comes Anthony. Look on the inside, side by side into the final turn. Peter goes a bit sideways through the turn. For the time being, Anthony is up into 6th, but look at that. Here comes turn 1. Side by side with Peter. But cannot get the place there. Oh, Peter has a moment on the exit there, so does Scott behind. But they stay like this for a while. Unless they decide to make moves on the next corner. Meanwhile, Jeff is still working on catching Patrick. Gap is about six tenths now. Yeah, they are within one shot, one camera his shot. Peter seems to be the closest one. Down, Patrick. <laughs> Don't want to do another lap. <laughs> Nick is saying, calm down, Patrick. <laughs> or slow down, Patrick, because he doesn't want to do another lap. But unfortunately, Nick, you will have to do another lap. 17 seconds on the clock when they on the start finish straight and they are starting another one. And what a way to start the next lap. That's gonna be the final one. It's by going sideways. Not sideways. Side by side into the first turn.
This is the time, however, when you do want to <laughs> finish as quick as possible. Alright, let's have a 3D. Two battles on the screen. Screen middle. It's from Anthony's perspective. But there's a fight there, and there's a fight for the lead as well. This way we can focus on both of them at the same time. But the clock is up. And now it's all down to who has enough fuel or tires left. Get between Jeff and Pretty Patrick. Back there behind me. Get, so be Get between Jeff and Patrick is now absolutely dying on the tires. A lot bigger now, but it cannot be said about it. I see my rears on mediums are forty percent. I've got seventeen percent on the back. <laughs> Uh, let's look at this. And then he might be here to witness Peter sending it up. He goes side by side, or rather for a move into the chicane. In the meantime, uh, the leaders are crossing the line, and Patrick won it. Jeff second. Oh, Anthony got dis disqualified. What? What? Yeah, it's still in the race. Disqualified. Yeah. yeah, I see. What the? But, okay. He's probably forgot to clear a penalty or something. Yeah, I didn't see any penalties. I mean, I got lots of uh, uh, track warnings, but oh well. <laughs> <sighs> On my screen, it says that exclusive cutting oh. is the reason you got a disqualification. Is what? Yeah, what was his reason? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. He didn't have many valid laps. 